Um, I am going to create one more video in respect to Josef Feldner and the Austrian Heimatdienst from Koroshka, from Kanten. Uh, the best thing is just to roll down here. Uh, studied at, uni at Graz University and then you have, he lives in a Klagenfurt and originally he is from Villach. Um, but Graz, this is not too far from where Arnold Schwarzenegger is from, you know. Graz you have here, this is, it's what they refer to as the Steierska region. I don't know if it's gonna, if, if it's gonna demonstrate land maps here from Austria, but uh, this is a styria, they call this styria in English language, and, and this here is Koroshka Kanten, uh, Carinthia in English language. And so, yeah, the thing is that, you see, this is where he lives, he lives in Klagenfurt, and uh, he is originally from Villach. Uh, this is the thing, you see, uh, we have to understand each other. Uh, now, I'm talking to the German police, I'm talking to the Austrian police uh, about what took place. And I'm not trying to be nice to you. Uh, you're going to have a lot of problems because of other issues also involving this stuff. Uh, for me, however, is of a paramount importance this individual here, Josef Feldner, because what I'm about to tell you next about this individual. Um, as I have explained in part number one, Milan Kuchan. and Robert Golob. This is a deputy of Milan Kuchan. He only came under uh, possible, possibly being even fired from Milan Kuchan once, no, well, actually on several occasions. When Yugoslavia had fallen apart, this guy was totally drugged up in 91, 92. In 93, Milan Kuchan wanted to get rid of him already and he had really had to sober up 93 94 he was, he had a major crisis because he had to get off cocaine uh marijuana definitely i don't know hashish cocaine i don't know he was doing drugs big time this individual this is what became uh well he was already set to be Milan Kuchan is inheritor, a replacement of Milan Kuchan, his, his little boss, at, one, at least at one point in time. But this is the guy Milan Kuchan have used for the crime against me in the background. Uh, next to, his name is Bort Pahar, this individual who also was the president of Slovenia. This is like a main apparatchiks from Milan Kuchan, like a private Udba literally KGB apparatchiks that ran genocide against me. And so these people had in plan to block, uh, not really block, but destroy this. Uh, in Slovenia, what became, just as I published, this is so confusing, this stuff, man. I don't even know how much beneficial this stuff was for um, for a German minority in Slovenia, which uh, which would really like to to have a minority status in Slovenia, a country which was one thousand one hundred and fifty years. That's eleven fifty years. Uh, part of either. German Holy Roman Empire or German French state. The first one was actually a French state, a greater French state. 
uh, and then it was the German Holy Empire, and then it was just Germany, and then finally Austria was born. It's amazing. Um, you see, I am not against. I am not against Slovenian affiliation with um, with Austria or Germany. I am not against. Slovenia depended on Germany and Austria uh, since from forever. Even during Yugoslavia, uh, Austria and Germany became essential for existence, for the survival of Slovenian people. This was the land where Slovenian people would go to search in search for work survival basically they did not head to the serbia not to the belarus not to the russia they went straight to the austria and to the germany and in no other country than united states of america and canada which was traditional immigration route for slovenian people but in the post-world war ii period slovenian people just a lot of Slovenian people, or also they escaped from Slovenia, so they would not be executed here by Josip Brostito, by Udba, and so on. They executed people. And so, for me, it's of a paramount concern, this individual here. See, what's, what, what's, what makes it interesting is, I went for a walk uh, three days ago, and... As I hit the street, and it was during MK Ultra that my neighbors were giving me a death threat. So I told you there is one neighbor, Method Yerman. Who just I'm not gonna go look for that stuff. Um It's just about one house from here. He alone told me that he will be working on simply the stuff I will be doing. They will have three people that will be non-stop watching and doing whatever I would be doing. Uh, and simply making a notes. And when the file is gonna be thick enough, big enough, uh, is what he claimed uh, they're gonna go and uh, basically do what is a normal procedure in Slovenia it's just basically create a fable a lie according to their uh, needs just as they have enforced against me throughout my life uh, let me just see this here Um, this is interesting. They they, they do publish this the pay from the police. This is not a secret. This this stuff is it's quite public. It's not a secret. Uh, it's really interesting because this guy is one of the top investigators and he was involved in it he was involved in more in it he had uh, locals here there is just lady right across the street from me and from him on the other side of the street that was with her um, granddaughter standing at the edge of the house as i as i stepped out of the uh, out of the house yes and um, this is right here, number 19, uh, is a higher criminalist uh, at the novel mist who gets uh, 5,000 euros basically for doing this kind of stuff, which is in Slovenia 
a considerable amount of money. Uh, this was very, very, the crime, very, very, very lucrative. Just one house from here. And so because of this stuff, you know, the little girl, as I step out of the house, and that was really right after I sent this guy a friend request. Really? I shouldn't even do that kind of stuff. Because what I'm about to tell you next is why I am so angry about it, you know. Um, she started to, just according to MK Ultra, because they have me this stuff during MK Ultra, this guy visited and expressed total disdain, total arrogance for me, suggesting me that we will never met, maybe we could met, maybe we will met through the webcam he is advertising on his page right there uh, that maybe and he stated to me maybe not even that yeah um, but what the fuck is this guy did he is disgusting the stuff this guy have done to me uh, just as I posted right here and it can be seen uh, this guy condemned me, sentenced me to death. And, but this is the thing, I am not, uh, I am not, I am not, uh, very angry right now I am very angry about this stuff um, I will explain to you how this stuff was done the whole thing right now I went to the page from the from the Heimatdienst movement and uh, I think this guy just wanted to destroy entire Heimatdienst movement. I think he just want to annihilate, <laughs> like everybody, when it comes to this Heimatdienst from 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 Austria. Actually, let me do that here. They did have me on some of these celebrations. all the major people, all the main people, every one of them was involved in this stuff, you know. Every one of them was involved in it. <laughs> the thing is that if I was going to proceed the route that this guy wanted me to proceed, uh, it would probably terminate this uh, organization, this this uh, social gatherings, these people that they have this activity, it would it probably would destroy them, it would probably would terminate them. That's why this guy is so so important to me. He and next to him he had another two guys. Mm, one of them was even they were they they uh, they appeared to be not even to be I don't know, German, I think they, they might have been even affiliated, I don't know uh, what country, and I don't want to say this, you know, uh, they just uh, they just wanted to create a, a volcano using me. Now, the Heimatdienst was using me since I was born almost. I was born in December 1971 and uh, 
you could not make better commercial than having people to watch literally baby tortured in front of their eyes which had happened and in Austria and in Italy if the people did not want to believe they did believe their own eyes so it doesn't matter what this guy would affiliate themselves with you could affiliate yourself with the Satan and as long as you would see other side doing atrocities as it was done on me you don't have to worry about anything even pledging loyalty to the Satan if these people did not pledge loyalty to any Satan they did not they're supposed to be just a movement that would socialize pro-Austrian sentiment people around get through the gatherings through the social activities uh, and that's about it that's what this stuff supposed to be rejecting Yugoslavia rejecting Josip Broz Tito rejecting the stuff that went on in Slovenia Slovenian people were running from Slovenia at large to Austria to Germany to United States escaping the death basically psychiatric institutions and imprisonment even on what used to be known as a Gauli Autok the barren island the island of the rocks where people would just waste their lives literally and they had other institutions throughout Yugoslavia that would just make people disappear kill them and so on make their families jobless for life and stuff like this this is what Yugoslavia was so these people had a right to protest and express disgust uh, and truth is that when this side from this side of the Alps from Yugoslavia from Slovenia became compliant with the stuff like this that went on definitely did not represent it in absolutely any way Slovenian people they represented just as they represent today a Belgrade so it was their duty it was their job to reject and oppose and promote whatever they felt should be promoted for the hell of it to protest Josip Broz Tito and Slovenian Communist Party it was their work it was their job and so my intention here is not to destroy this movement this is an old movement traditional Austrian movement uh, it's not of my business to go after them destroy them cause them damage whatever the hell they do uh, really really is their business this is in Austria I don't go to other countries and cause turmoil this is not the stuff I do and so when I found this individual with the two other individuals associating with Milan Kuchan, Robert Golob, beginning the 2010 for the sake of what will become some kind of language, I still don't understand what the fuck is this about. And um uh, This is supposed to be for some kind of association of German-speaking minority in a uh, city, just as I indicated in part number one. Um, uh, the Heimatdienst came to visit uh, this celebration, this uh, occasion. Uh, it appears that this was the first time that Heimatdienst actually publicly appeared here in, in Etzelia. Yes. Uh, the year earlier is when this association of German-speaking 
uh, German minority, wherever in Slovenia, was established. That is basically in on what is this in 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 April 11 of 2011. You know, remember as I told you in video number one. Uh, here I'm going to put the glasses on because I'm going to make a statement. I want to make a testimony right now. What happened in 2010? In 2010, I had Robert Golob and Milan Kuchan insisting me, suggesting me. The first thing that we was it was people in Celia that insisted me, suggested me that there is the solution for me on the horizon. There is a solution. Maybe there is a solution for you in the horizon. And I was, what kind of solution that is uh, for me on the horizon? Uh, and they just, you know, that about MK Ultra and that kind of stuff, about this stuff. This, this strictly was everything MK Ultra. Everything was everything they have done was absolutely everything was enforced through MK Ultra. And I said, yeah, what kind of solution? Well, uh, we're gonna open the center for wherever German speaking this and that. And when I heard that the solution during MK Ultra Milan Kuchan was like number one enemy. Uh, no explanation was needed for that. So I was like, wonderful, that is great, that is wonderful. And you could not feel, but became evident that the interaction between the organizer, the one who organized this association in Celia, and I mentioned to you Germans, there's a people not from Austria, but from Germany, that started to visit our house for the first time in 2002, 2003, they appeared in this house. And I did not understand what the fuck is this? Who, who are these people? What are they doing here? Because they were dressed up like in, so like casual, dressed up like in a cocky pants with the short shirts. Teachers. To me, it appeared like a teacher. One was a teacher, some kind of professor of the German language, whatever, and they came from Germany. And they were like, they would be opening through the Balkans, through the ex Eastern Europe. Um, it's not a missionary work, it's a. Uh, linguistic issues that pertained to German minorities throughout the Eastern Europe. I explained that issue in part number one, right? So, um, to me, it sounded great. It sounded fine. All through, it, it, it became completely evident because in the beginnings already in 2010, uh, they presented this issue, they always did this, it was like, maybe there's a solution for you, you know, and then it was always, uh, all of a sudden you will have this Robert Golob or Bort Pah or Milan Kuchan. Uh, I heard that you're dangerous, that they are preparing something very dangerous, something very dangerous is happening in Celia, we have to go to Celia, this and that, they are preparing this and they are preparing that and so on. So they make this like action, like, but we are going to stop and this and that and so on. German, we heard you're German and so on. And so it went. It all started on one end of the story, something that can help you out, something that can save you. And on the other hand, we must do everything to stop this. We must do everything to stop you. We heard this and that. So you heard this and that. So this this association of German uh, minority, the so-called minority, I don't think the Germans have minority status in Slovenia. Uh, it looks like they got the information they needed. This shit started to twist already like in 2008. It started earlier. And the one who enforced this was Robert Golob. 
he heard something and then in 2010 this stuff really really intensified this is how this stuff was yeah. uh, in Guala uh, Milan Kuchan was extremely sensitive about opening of this association it, it appears that he couldn't do absolutely nothing about to get one stop it took three years obviously uh, to it took them three years to open this association since this shit about this association was to come to life started it's supposed to be open in 2010 and just as I described right now it was not open in 2010 and so Milan Kuchan started to negotiate with the people who opened this association and these people who opened this association in Celle to the German speaking minority uh, Heimandians absolutely knew everything about it that's one thing they had me everything also in Austria this is how they communicated through one another I was like a microphone and this state would be shared then afterwards with all the parties involved in it whoever found the interest in it and they analyzed and see where what is in it for them if they could search for certain interests and so on they negotiated very likely at least with a certain members of the Heimatdienst I know so because I was offered at the time not by the members of association of the German speaking minority association in Celia but directly by some members of Heimatdienst of which one also was Josef Feldner there were two more Milan Kuchan people in this association from Heimatdienst there were two two violent thugs really violent thugs that were involved in this stuff and they negotiated this with the Slovenian side they basically were a microphone for Milan Kuchan in Austria two other thugs two associates from Josef Feldner who was kind of a reserved he acted like kind of a reserved like kind of a safe person to speak to well it uh, broke down to something that he totally excluded out from my behalf to want to have absolutely anything to do with those two Heimadins individuals on Josef Feldner and so it was negotiated with the Milan Kuchan with Robert Golob that association could start uh, with registration uh, everything that would be done if only possible would be on Adolf Hitler is um, visit to Slovenia I've seen that it was not established on Adolf Hitler exactly precisely on Adolf Hitler is visit to Slovenia and this is a birthday which was April the 20 uh, let's see this stuff here this was uh, uh, April 11 yes it was April and and uh, it looks like they had they had a celebration for the Adolf Hitler's birthday or whatever of the Slovenia hold on eh? this is Slovenian, 
the little mesnih pravic leta wherever selje okrakale nemške čete I don't know but according to Kuchan, according to Robert Golob, it has something to do with the Hitler. Uh, with the Hitler arrival to Slovenia, uh, with Hitler's birthday, this is what they dreamed about all the time. And Milan Kuchan placed in his program as one of the initial, as a demands, as a condition for this association or whatever. What? This appears, this was open in 2010 actually, because it says here, uh, this will be already the third uh, meeting in the Celia, right? So that will be then in 2010. So somehow, Želani ve Celio ustanovljenega kulturnega društva. I don't understand this. I, I don't. Uh, it looks like they, 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 uh, whatever the fuck they did. I don't care what they did. No. The thing is that this issue was used for the psychiatric hospitalization. And used by Milan Kuchan to destroy, to attack this German speaking minority in Slovenia with absolutely everything he had use one literally to put a curse on me is the somebody that not only did not adhere to what is known as Zveza Združenih Borcov za vrednote Narodno osvobodilnega boja Slovenije se pravi not somebody who adhere to a union of a freedom fighter Freedom Fighters of World War II National Resistance uh, but labeled me as, as somebody who is an, as, a, as a main promoter of Adolf Hitler is a substitute of Adolf Hitler in Slovenia compromised to with his life to establishment of a German-speaking association in Celje, uh, which he, lay, he, he already designated into, into complete destruction due to his demands for one to be established on other Hitler is birthday or other Hitler is visit to Slovenia. So that you can understand that from either way you look, Milan Kuchan labeled me as, um, well, it was MK Ultra and uh, Josef Feldner, um, just um, the issue was presented to me that if it will be really established on Adolf Hitler's birthday or on a day of Adolf Hitler's arrival to Slovenia during the World War II, uh, that would be like a major, like the biggest hit, like the best thing I possibly could do, like something really, really scary for Milan Kuchan, uh, something that would really hurt Milan Kuchan, something that would really, really hurt a Serbian movement in Slovenia. So he labeled me in a most negative light possible as a Slovenian in Slovenia, somebody who is a substitute of Adolf Hitler in front of the Slovenian people in Celia, in Slovenia. Uh, entire Slovenia uh, where this group of people, this uh, and obey people were disseminating psychiatric lie against me and enforced a psychiatric violence, a schizophrenia against me for no less right now for 52 years. Uh, and on the other on the other uh, on the other side uh, gave the reason to the German state, to the Berlin 
to the Austrian state, to Vienna, uh, to go after me with more claims about what the fuck have I just done to them by embarrassing them like that. And so this Deutsche Sprache Volk here that you see, this, this, uh, this Deutsch Volkers, you know, I am so pissed off right now that uh, it could be that this is going to get down into the total fight with the Heimatdienst. It might not be reduced even to Josef Feldner. It, it might be that I will terminate this German minority in Slovenia completely because of this stuff. Acted, insulted and left this celebration Basically, because I did this, because I am so fucking evil that I wanted to be established on Hitler's birthday, on the day of their arrival of the Hitler and stuff like this. I mean, difficult to measure the emotional impact this kind of scam had on me, and which was used for me to see psychiatric hospitalization, which followed up on me as something completely normal something that I deserve, something that was well deserved and so on. And it was further even used, that's an interesting part, to, thre to threaten further with a future hospitalization in case I would ever connect myself to this Josef Feldner, to this man here for whom I have stated was here in our home, visited. Uh, seems that he returned to Austria every time alive, that he just didn't have that kind of hostility that I experienced. I mean, to put it in a plain and simple. And why is this so important for me is because they even negotiated on how exactly they would find out about, listen to this stuff, that I would send one a friend request if I would. Now you started to understand the nature of my friend request when it comes to this guy. Now you're getting somewhere. And so there were two versions for it. One version was that I will be video surveillanced. I don't know. Computer definitely surveillance, but I don't know how much video surveillance about my activities spend on the computer. And as soon as I would do this, I would even get feedback, which I did get as soon as I stepped out of the house that day. I had my neighbor, Mohar, and her little girl, a granddaughter from Maida, giving me not coughing, but uh, total disgust, looks and I could hear a little girl with a grandma over there, toy, 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 spitting and so on. And this was exactly what Maida did, told me during MK Ultra it would be the case. It's something what Slovenian police, psychiatry, scarf shows, or have repeated on several occasions when police took me out for a walk so that I would know that they all know about it. Like, truly, if I would give a fuck about who knows what. If I would worry about paying pay my attention about being stalked, you know, I would, I, would just, I would just freeze. I would not get anywhere. But thanks for letting me know. Then it was another version about how they would learn about in Slovenia where our Robert Golob claimed that such invitations, such friend requests, it will be sent from my computer, from me, it will be considered as a personal thing. Something that as if you go out on the street and you meet somebody and you just uh, talk to the person and you invite him or whatever. Apparently that in Slovenia, in uh, in, in, in Slovenia, people are not allowed to communicate with one another and due to a strict uh, UDBA KGB supervision are also asked for
for a permission if they do. And since I did not ask for the permission, uh, this is what things uh, Robert Golop took initiative during MKUltra explaining me uh, that he would do if I would do. Uh, and so this news appeared, which I pointed out in part number one. about Robert Golob. Yeah, this is the right thing for me to do, to explain a little bit more because I was, I was, uh, I, I don't, I don't even know how I would explain about this stuff in part number one. Uh, I, I really, a lynching subject was not only a lynching that took place, Lynching during MK Ultra was a subject reserved to itself with the people to whom lynching it, that is posted on the internet also. Uh, articles appeared and they participated in it in a torture, in an MK Ultra torture, and were making fun of me, suggesting me there will be articles about us when it comes to lynching but it's not going to be articles about you. And they did not acknowledge you who were really lynched. That's extremely careful during MKUltra, every word that they state. They were making a derision right here in this house, in this kitchen, on the computer, time and again, when I was meeting Slovenian people, which subject of lynching covered internet space, whatever you put. The word lynching into the Google engine, you're going to get many answers from many people. Those people are all involved in it. We might meeting fake lynching cases, fake lynching people, if you like, making their cases, making their lies about the lynching. So let me go back. The second way they would find out about that I send one a friend request, which Robert Golob was so disturbed, Milan Kuchan was so disturbed if ever would take place, was through the Josef Feldner personally, who also guaranteed me that if I would contact him, if I would dare to do something like this, he alone would go and inform Ljubljana about it. So one way or the other, this guy is not a clean guy. This guy is a rat. Either way you look, from Milan Kuchan, that is the one thing, that's a fact, that I would even feel honored to talk to him about um, our meeting. Uh, I don't think this guy was ready or willing to give me any kind of statement. As much as he was helpful during MK Ultra for Slovenian police interrogation purposes, he clearly signaled me that I should not even contemplate on it. But it's nice that he has this camera here. And then you have the article here which reminds of 2012. And then he also had some kind of uh, here, something uh, commercial here for the for the Heimatdienst in, in, uh, in, um, in Austria. And then you can see here, you can see here, they have a page here from the Facebook. I like to see that. And I got to tell you that it really, really, really angers me. It angers me tremendously to see that um, here you can see Slovenian, you can see Austrian, you can see minorities. from Bosnia, from Croatia, etc., etc., something I did not even like in certain cases due to violence involving it. Uh, myself, and I'm from Slovenia, I'm going to put it this way. Uh, what I did not like, what I don't like today about this stuff is one simple thing. Uh, I like that these people associate with one another. I, I really am happy for it. Every one of the people that you see right there was involved in it. But I've seen some uh, fiestas they had, with the ladies included, 
they're having a good time, drinking, eating, dancing, and so on. And I would really like to ask you at Heimandienst, how the fuck you felt about my leaving into the psychiatric hospital? Obese as I was. You remember how obese I was? Destroyed, depressed. With a psychiatric rope around my neck, watching me, how I was falling apart in the psychiatric hospital of Ljubljana Polje, while you continue to dance over there in Austria, having a good time celebrating yourself. Um, truly, I really would love to know about it. How the hell did that make you feel when you use me for your purposes, for your movement? And it's something I do not regret. I will tell you the truth that I do not regret that I was part of something symbolic, something that reminded of your righteousness. In certain ways, uh, and most definitely I feel that, just as I stated earlier in the video, Slovenia would definitely not make it through, nor Croatia would make it through without your presence without, 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 not only, I feel, Austria and, and uh, Germany, which offered people employment, but your simply resistance to the violence to which you have answered with your own ways, whichever ways those ways were, either demanding to take down the Slovenian, uh, uh, dual lingual signs, which I'm not really a friend of that. I don't mind uh, multi-languages, I don't mind intercultural exchange, I'm not in against that, but there were certain things that you have done that anyhow that did prompt people on this side to consider that they're not God and they don't have the right to kill babies, literally, right out on a plain, plain day side, uh, hijack, torture people, and so on. This is how I saw you, this is how I envisioned you, because my agenda when taking down Soviet Union and Yugoslavia was to redistribute to people the spirit of resilience, resistance, by simply inciting people into, into different ways, sometimes even into compliance, when there was no way to answer the violence, so that people could see themselves in me, so that people would start to resist, and if necessary, even play stupid in the face of the Russians, in the face of the Serbian threat throughout the Eastern Europe. From that point of view, from that aspect, I am on your side. I, however, under no circumstances ever embraced really any kind of, I'm gonna say, Slovenian affiliation to, I'm not gonna say to the white guards, uh, I'm not gonna say to Adolf Hitler or Nazi party, uh, but even to a purpose of the White Guards, I am certain that you understand the Germans alone expressed disgust with the Hitler and with the Nazi party due to what I already repeated, due to what I stated already in part number one. Slovenian affiliation to the German countries for 1150 years this this must have been mentally ill individual that came up with a final solution for the people also people like this this guy indiscriminately was killing machine left and right craving for blood craving for to cause as much harm as possible without even making sense in it i cannot see myself in in something like this not even germans 
uh, that I met in Germany did not saw themselves in, in a stuff like this. Simple as this. And I'm not going to go in and compare myself to a Nazi party. I'm not going to even try. Uh, their views or uh, Hitler views, and I'm not going to say I hope you, whatever. This depends on every individual. Finally, in a Heimandist organization for which I have already stated repeatedly, I don't, I didn't see one as a as a Nazi party of any kind. This is affiliation that follow up on Heimandist from Slovenia. That's how I see it. That's how I basically still see it. And I would really not want to be the one who would terminate you from the other end because of some individual that just was out there to do it his way with few other individuals on behalf of Milan Kuchan. He, this guy steered a, a big shit and this stuff was literally used in Slovenia to hospitalize me, literally. Something that Milan Kuch and Robert Golot, Borut Paho worked diligently since 2008. Not, that's crazy, I mean. Danilo Turk was like elected president with agenda basically to get me killed through the psychiatry, to zip me. This shit started way earlier with my departure back to United States of America, Slovenia became desperate, completely desperate to get me back to Slovenia, whichever way it takes and get me killed. And that was a job of Barack Obama, which Barack Obama started before he even became a president of United States of America. As I described, Barack Obama's visits to Slovenia to our house became intensive in the year 2003. And once he became a president, he claimed that he would not be capable to visit Slovenia that much anymore. But he did. At my surprise, I was meeting here with this type of elements and was doing everything possible to get me killed, to get rid of me. They suggested some kind of possibilities for me. The thing is that with the communists, there are no possibilities. Communists are a killing machines. That's all there is. There's a, these are a killer machines that murder like a machine. That's all there is to it. Given there was a German government in this stuff, talking about the language people, linguists that were involved in this stuff, also visits to Celia and stuff like this. I will demand from German police and Austrian police case hearing for this guy and two other guys that accompanied him that he used that they used these people I should say Milan Kuchin used these people because there's information I need from these people about exactly what went on uh, well also in Celia also this is why this is why this is why it dig me so deeply this is why it touched me so deeply this guy appeared to be like a very reliable guy this guy appeared to be like the most reliable connection from the Heimadins that they would still give me somebody that would definitely side with me and I was capable to see basically just as far as Heimadins could go for me but the thing is that I don't think Heimadins was looking for the Nazi excitement and I definitely did not This is part number two, and this is the video. Related to the first part, which I have titled. Well, you can see it right here. 
Adolf Hitler didn't have any reason to hate Slovenian people, but I do. Unlike Adolf Hitler, Slovenian people, Slovenian nation as whole, wiped me 53 years of life, annihilated my life, deleted me for the purposes of Belgrade and Moscow, for the purposes of interests from Belgrade and Moscow.